what's going on guys so today we're going to talk about 125 cc evoke four strokes guys i bought this bike brand new it's a chinese bike i didn't really want to buy a chinese bike i didn't want to buy like a real one like a honda or a, a yamaha but guys the price are so expensive i didn't want to want fuck up like two grand or twenty five hundred dollar so i find this guy on facebook market he was selling this one for uh 850 guys brand new out of the box and guys i gotta just jump on it because even this particular bike i didn't see any of this price for like 850 it was like 13 1400 dollars but guys to be honest i'm very impressed with this bike so far i had no complaint no issue actually i just had it for like three weeks now anyway so the only issue i had with it so far it was the chain what happened is that um china sent this this thing right here it was like this soft metal so when you ride the bike the chain would like loosen up every time so what i did was i bring like this steel one from work and i put this steel one guys so this is like a steel so it doesn't matter how hard you ride the bike the chain cannot go forward because what happened is that the metal one used to get sucked in especially to this side guys this side used to like literally just get sucked in i don't know if you've seen it good i can't see where the camera position but if you can see i put a steel here and i put two bolts and on this side guys i put three bolts right here so so far i had no issue but guys if you buy one of these bike guys just expect for um little things to get loosened up like little bolts and stuff like that but other than that for three weeks now i had no issue and this thing is fucking fast man i hammer this thing like back and forth non-stop my kids them ride it too so it's uh four strokes as i said and you have um you have your kill switch right here on off on and off and you also have um your key right here i don't know if you can see right here and this is your front brake that's your front brake right here and this is your clutch on this side right here and the clutch is very soft and nice guys if you are in the market to look for one of these bike guys i would definitely recommend it but guys if you have the money to buy a real one guys i would suggest you go ahead and buy a real one like a honda or a yamaha or something like that but if you don't have the money guys this would still be a good bike for a first beginner i'm not a first beginner anyways i had these bikes before already so i know how to fix them when something go wrong with them and guys when you're riding guys always bring like tools with you because sometimes these bikes intend to like loosen up bolts and stuff like that when you're riding the last time i was down here in the umber something went wrong the chain got sucked in and i didn't bring any tool and my body was telling me that you should bring some tool and i was like okay nothing gonna happen the bike is new so that's why i have to put those steel plate on um the back right there so guys as what i said so far i had no issue i did my first oil change already and i did put synthetic oil and i was watching some youtube video and they were saying no you cannot put synthetic oil so tomorrow i will change this oil and i will put the regular oil inside for the bike so i think it would be a four strokes that's what i will put inside of it tomorrow but guys as what i said i don't think you could find this price I pay 850 for it and um i don't think you could find this price anywhere the guy had two and i messaged him back to buy the next one from him and it's just gone just like that these bikes are going for like 13 1400 right now guys trust me 850 it's a steal so that's why when i see it i just grab it right away and um so far i have no regret of buying it 850 was a steal when I see it, I just grab it immediately. And um, I would give it um, for performance, guys. To be honest, it's not like a Yamaha or a Honda or anything like that. But for the performance, guys, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I know some of you guys are gonna say, oh no, it's a Chinese bike, but yeah, I would give it a 10 out of 10 just because it's a Chinese bike and it performs so well. That's why I'm giving it 10 out of 10. The brakes are good, suspension are good, clutch are good. 
and guys i just fill it up with gas and guys you can go forever 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 with this full tank of gas so guys once again guys tell me what you think about this bike tell me if you're looking to pick up one i'm in um toronto canada and right now i'm down in the humber guys that's where i'm riding right now down in the humber sorry for that i'm down in the humber and guys two three years ago it would be like 10 15 dirt bike riding over here so if you are in toronto this is down in the humber western road and the 401 area where that soccer field is guys come down there check it out guys we used to ride down here crazy man crazy 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 we used to ride down here as you can see it's a big wooded area guys i'm gonna buy a gopro so the next video what i'll be making i'll be making that video when i'm riding and guys i'm telling you that bike you will never disappointed with it guys it's a monstrous piece of machine guys guys if you like the video guys give me a thumbs up if you want to see more video guys let me know in the comment section down below guys what do you want me to talk about on the bike in the next video guys guys thanks for watching like the video guys if you find it helpful subscribe to the channel guys more video coming on the bmw x3 on my 125 cc evoke dirt bike guys peace